as an application of the fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, if we know a rate of change of a function, then the then the net change of that function over the over some interval of the input is given by the integral of that rate of change. The integral of the rate of change will give us a ch the difference between the function value at the ending t and the function value at the beginning t. So this gives us the net change of the function. Uh, as an example of this, if s were a position function, so showing the position of an object after t seconds, then the derivative of the position would be velocity. Uh, so if this is a velocity function, then the object's displacement, and displacement here means the difference between where an object starts and where it ends. Uh, the displacement, the difference between my end starting ending position and starting position, would be the integral of that velocity function. So one application here is in velocities. Uh, another application is with anything that has a rate of change. So for example, suppose that we have a dam and the gate in the dam is starting to open. The flow rate, uh, t seconds after it opens, is given by this function, 30 plus 2 t liters per second. And we're looking for the total flow out of the dam during the first two minutes. And so because this is, this is the rate of change, of the of the flow, then to find the total flow, we can integrate that function over the first two minutes, which since t here is measured in seconds, this would be 0 to 120. And this integral is going to give me the total flow rate. Notice here, if we look at units, that this quantity is liters per second, and the dt here represents a change in seconds. And so the units on this integral are going to be liters, total number of liters. So to integrate this, we go ahead and find our antiderivative, and we're going to evaluate it, 0 to 120. So we plug in 120 for t, and then we plug in 0, and so we multiply here and we get 3600 30, here, and 14,400 14, here. Uh, this is both going to end up being zero, and so we get a total of 18,000 liters uh, of water flowing through the dam during those first two minutes.